Pretty nice road, eh? Pretty nice. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> so, we're starting the video. We have a friend day. Once the scooter, you think you're going to give it a nice home for a bit? Yeah. Cool. And uh, I want to test out, can you charge a, like a 36 volt scooter with this circuit that I found? So the idea is, I want to eventually get one of these scooters and have like a little solar panel on the back so it always charges itself up slowly. This is a little solar charge controller step up thingamabob that if I connect to the solar panels, I should be able to set the output and then we can put the power into the base here. Now I've already tested it and whenever you charge it, it doesn't let you turn it on. So I couldn't charge it while driving it. That, I might have to rewire it a little bit, but still though, I think it's worth a try just to see if you could do that. So we have our 1997 18 watt Siemens solar panel. It's actually 15 watts now. Uh, 25 years is quite long for a solar panel. I think that's kind of on par for the biggest panel you'd really want to have on a, on a scooter. I don't imagine you want to have a bigger panel on a scooter. The, the size wouldn't really work. It would look goofy. It really would. And this Elejoy um, charge controller actually has these little I think these are, I think these are the little, like the, uh, the not Japanese, the, uh, the Chinese version of the Vago connectors. So, let's see. Oh, we got, we got voltage. Look at that. It's, it's really hard to see, but yeah, we do. Now we're standing in front of the solar panel. So you, you can see that okay? Yeah. Bring that over here. I'm going to see if I can plug it in. I'm curious, 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 what'll happen with, you want, you want to record the thing as I do this? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go down to 36 volts. Oh, wow, I can actually do that. I can actually go down to 36 volts. Man, this is so cool. I can just set it and forget it. I'm going down to 40 volts and popping it in. And the display's off because it hates that. Cool. It's charging at 0.26 of an amp. That is so cool. So if, if um, so I'm going to try to get a company. I actually have a company that, that, that wanted to offer me a welder, but they also make solar panels. And they make these little 5 watt solar panels. If I put them together, you know, each one's 12 watt, uh, 12 volts. I, if for 36 volts, I could put three of them together and make 36 volts and a panel on the back of my scooter. But if I didn't find a bunch of little 5 watt panels that I could put together, I could get a uh, 12 volt panel because almost nobody makes 37 volt, the 36 volt panels. They make 12 volt panels because kind of 12 volts is everywhere. And I could run it through one of these to, uh, to step it up to the right voltage. So it's actually down to... Uh, 37.3 right so it, so it actually so it actually does the uh the current um the current limiting really well I'm trying to shade this it is so bright can you hold this place yeah thank you thank you that is so cool so yeah, let's let that charge for a little bit and get a, little, get a few more bars. Especially since you might be driving at home later. I probably will. Like, I mean, you don't have a car that you have with you. <laughs> I hope you don't have to go up Marshall Road with that thing. Um, how far? Not up that. No. Oh, okay, not that way good. How many miles do you have to go to uh, to your place? Um, Five, ten? Um, probably about ten. Okay, so this this will go about twenty miles. Yeah. Um, that should be good for you. Do you, uh, do, do you drive to your, your current place of work or do you walk there? I take the bus. Take the bus, yeah. Well, you might be able to do this instead of taking the bus then. Hey, I'm so happy. So, um, one thing that I have to say about the Hofsco is that it actually has electronic brakes. So, whenever you pull the brakes in 
to a certain point, you'll notice that the motor actually starts acting as a brake as well. Because um, a lot of these motors, they can act as generators. And so what it does is it just starts taking power from the motor and so it slows you down even more. So it actually has a really good braking. Yes, this is the one you want to use as far as the, the side. I think, it's the, I think it's that side that goes to the back. It might be yeah, both usually, of them. It usually is. Yeah, uh, yeah. And usually the one on the left is for the front. Because I found out the hard way when I was 11. Yeah. Coming down hill, braking real hard. And it, <laughs> because oh, yeah, it locked oh, the yeah. front wheel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, be careful with that. Oh, this is... I bought that thing for our bigger e-bike, and, uh... Oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? I did. You never used it? No, I didn't. No. no. Well, I think we're about out of sun. I am so excited. Hey. Yeah? Could you take a picture of me with... Or just take a video of me with the solar panel. That'll be the thumbnail. What do you think? Good enough? Yeah, that works. I'll, I'll do a screen grab from it. Okay, we're gonna pull that out. And uh, whenever you borrow it, you don't have to do a solar panel. <laughs> Let's see if it Let's turns see. on. I mean, it should. Okey dokey. Wait, did it go down the Was it at three bars before? It was. Yeah, um, yeah it was at three. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, yeah, it didn't go down or anything. Very nice. Well, we'll let you get going because you're hungry. And so are we, actually. Yeah, we're, I'm hungry too. <laughs> and uh, I kind of came to the workshop and did a little bit, but I just think it's too hot. Um, be careful on your drive. If you need, if, if you get, if the battery runs out or, or anything, call us. We could, we could help. Yeah, just say where you are. We'd feel okay. bad. Um, but if one nice thing about this is, if you run out of battery, you can still get another two miles after it turns off. Because if you turn it off and turn it back on, and then just slightly feather, you can go about twelve miles an hour. It's just that whenever it dips the battery down below a, a certain voltage, then it freaks out and turns off. But even after it runs out of juice, it's still technically about two miles worth of electricity in it. You just have to go a little lighter and uh, maybe walk it up some of the, the hills. Otherwise, it'll trip it and be like, ah, it's, the battery's dead. So just turn, turn it off and turn it back on, and you'll have like a little bit extra reserve power in there. Well, that's pretty much it. Sh mm -hmm. Should we have, uh, yeah, this is... This is our friend. Is it okay if we say your name? Yeah, yeah. This is our friend Day, and she's gonna try out the Hobsco. And I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, it's so fun. It's so yeah. fun that you're gonna try it out. And um, I'm excited. And if you want to keep it, we'll give you a, a kick-ass deal on it. Like I don't know, hundred bucks, eighty bucks, hundred twenty bucks, whatever yeah. works for you. You can have it for that. And if if it ever has any issues. I could take it back and try to put a new battery in it or something like that. Um, but yeah, do you want to drive it off into the sunset? <laughs> okay, so we got the. I don't know if you want to put the, Yeah, maybe put that in your bag. If you want, go to the right of that car okay. and up the up the pathway, and we'll see you. I'll run in front in front of you. Micromobility is the future. <laughs> so long and safe travels. Okay, see, you, see ya. <laughs> that was so fun. I know. Yeah, yeah. It really suits her too. Yeah, it does. I'm glad she likes it. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't work out, she can give it back. Yeah. But I kind of feel like that might work out kind of perfectly. Yeah. Plus, because, like, I wish I had a scooter like that or something when yeah. I was riding the bus to work. Because um, maybe I would have got off several stops earlier mm -hmm. and just rode the rest of the way or yep. whatever, you know? And uh, not that buses are bad, oh, but no. it's nice that she has a scooter now that she can mm -hmm. take. And, hey, if she does want it and she does want to give me, like, 100 bucks. I'll buy a Makita cooling jacket with it. There you go. You know, because yeah. it's getting hot out here. Well, guys, that was a quick little video. 
Hops go in. I think they wanted me to make a video and a short. Well, instead of making a short, I'll make a short video. How about that? Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And I'm so happy with this little thing. It costs like 80 bucks, but oh well. I think I would like to use it in, in a 48 volt system. Especially because it gives such, such a granular control to it, you know? Yeah. Now, if only I could have that company send me one of these. That'd be great. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. See ya. That's one more person transitioned over to electric mobility. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.